Verse 24, And the man brought the men into Joseph's house, gave them water. They washed their feet. And here goes that foot washing again. We saw it in Abraham, you remember, and then down in the city of Sodom. And they washed their feet. And he gave their asses provender. And they made ready the present against Joseph came at noon. For they heard that they should eat bread there. They couldn't imagine being invited to lunch. And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house and bowed themselves to him to the earth. And here they go down on their faces before Joseph and they confessing that they brought a present. You remember that old Jacob told them, said, bring a present down to the man. And they bowed themselves to the earth. That fulfills the prophecy again. Now notice verse 27. He asked them of their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom you spake? Is he yet alive? May I say to you, that's a dramatic moment. Joseph is probably there sitting on some elevation, probably not a throne necessarily, but a place of prominence. And these men are bowing down before him. Now they get up and Joseph looks at them right in the eye and they look at him. And he says to them, Is your father the old man of whom ye spoke? Is he yet alive? How is he? You see, he's interested. After all, he's his father also. And they answered, Thy servant, our father, is in good health. He's yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obeisance. And here they go down on their faces again. I'd love to have had a picture of that, wouldn't you? These brethren and Benjamin's with them now. And he goes down too now because after all, all of them went down. Notice what? He did, and he lifted up his eyes, and he saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son. You see, the others were his brothers, but half-brothers. This boy is his full brother, his mother's son. And he said, Is this your younger brother of whom ye spake unto me? And I think they nodded, and he said, God be gracious unto thee, my son. It's his brother. This is really a dramatic moment. And Joseph can't take it any longer. Joseph made haste, for his bowels did yearn. That is, oh, his heart went out to his brothers. His heart yearned upon his brother. And he sought where to weep. And he entered into his chamber and wept there. And he said to his brothers, Excuse me a moment. Someone wants me on the telephone. And he got out of there as quickly as he could. He went into his own private quarters and he wept because he never thought maybe he'd ever see his brothers again, his own brother Benjamin. Maybe the famine's near to an end now. Add seven more years. He's 40, some odd years old. That is, Joseph is. And Benjamin is the youngest one of all, but he's a young man now. And so Joseph entered into his chamber and wept there. 